Hello, my name is David. I've been the French distributor for DRS for quite a couple of years. That is why the company today picks me to show you the new X1 and X1 Pro. They both come in a very, very strong pedicase. case. Here's X1 and X1 Pro control box. X1 is what we call a magnetometer. It looks deep in the soil for anomalies such as metal and cavities. It comes with a one sensor probe, that's why we call it a magnetometer. It is controlled by a tablet PC and a Bluetooth joystick. The three software that show you the scan is multilingual. It also has a stand that you can put here to put the tablet. So you only need one end to make the scan. It comes of course with headphones and all the charger you need. Basically, the main difference between X1 and X1 Pro is the number of sensors in the probe. Of course, in X1 Pro you can make vertical scan, but you can also make regular scan in the soil, like with X2, X3, X4 and X5, because it has a gradiometer sensor, meaning you have two sensors in the probe instead of one with the X1 Pro. It also comes with long-range sensor. The long-range sensor allows you to scan the ground and the field for electromagnetic interference and anomalies. Therefore, you, it gives you the direction in which you have to scan. X1 Pro has gradiometer scan, vertical scan, long range mode, and it can also store some scans in the machine. Uh, therefore, you can put them in your computer when you come back home. And also, X1 Pro enables you to see your scan in real time. You scan and you see what's below your feet just in real time, which X1 Pro cannot do. Now I will show you how it works on the field. X1 and X1 Pro are very easy to operate. You just unplug the tablet from the keyboard and you put it on the stand and then the stand goes here. Then you can see directly on the screen what you scan. Here is X1 Pro. X1 Pro here's a button to calibrate um, the long range mode. Here is the charger. Here is the plug for the headphone. Then we choose the gladiometer sensor. It's very easy to plug in. We do it gently, then we screw. Also we can use the long range sensor if we want. To turn it on, it's here, this button. And then all the options come here. Then it pairs automatically with the Bluetooth joystick. Magnetic detection, first mode. Then magnetic detection, second mode. We can have live scan, meaning that the scan appears directly on the, on the, on the tablet PC. Then you have automatic scan, and manual scan. Basically, it's the difference between the two. In one, you will make one step and push. Every time you make a step, you push start, start, and then it appears on the screen. Or you can choose automatic, and then you tell the computer that you're gonna make five steps, for instance, and then it will do it automatically. Then, what else do we have? We have memory scan. You can scan and store the scan in the device, then put it back in the PC later. You can format the memory to get rid of the scan. You can transfer the scan to the PC. And you can check the battery status. Then we're back to long range mode. So it is very easy to operate. Now I will show you what, how the software works. DRS has developed its own 3D software that you use with all its devices. We will show you how it works. You use this software to scan and give an interpretation to the results. So you have to start first the software. The software is very easy to use. First thing, you have to choose a language. Here, click on File, Language. English is good, but you also have eight other languages. Connection settings, okay. You have to select the number of columns you want to scan and also the number of rows and you see it makes a grid each square measures 30 by 30 centimeters and it's a step 
we always start on the lower right hand corner. And then, very important, you have to choose how you're going to scan. You choose to scan either parallel, you go like this, then you go back, then again. Or you can choose zigzag. You see, you start here, you go like this, you step back, you scan, then like this, like this. Then you have to choose uh, which kind of scan you're going to do. Free ground scan, 3D ground scan is what you use for all our radar series. Okay? Horizontal live scan and vertical live scan are used only with X1 and X5 and X1 Pro. And resistivity is for IRS or uh, the resistive feature of uh, X5. But here we're going to use ground scan. And then you just press connect. We would like to remind you that on each DRS device, you can choose manual or automatic scan. For automatic scan, the machine will beep. So every beep, you will make a step. So it does like beep, you make a step, beep, you make a step. It gives you a rhythm. It's a very nice feature. Or you can use like manual feature. With the manual feature, every time you make a step, you just press the joystick. Okay? Now, let's see the file. We've just recorded an iron object. Here it is. Let's start with two dimension. You see, here you can see a red square, always on the lower right hand corner. So basically, we've been scanning 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 steps by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, by 6 columns. So 15 steps of 3 meter, that's barely 5 meter by 2 meter. So, look, you can navigate like this with a keyboard. Or you can also use, sorry, this thing. There is an embedded keyboard here. Okay? But we will use this. Every time you move the cursor, you can see on the lower left corner that the value change, 122. Now here, where the object is, we have 235. Meaning that we definitely have a metallic object. How can you make sure it's a metallic object? When you open a file, you can see on the right corner a scale of color. If you, the metallic object is red, yellow and orange, if the total of the first two values, see 2.3 and 5.6, where it's barely yellow, orange, if the total is below 10, then you can imagine this target is metal. Let's see. 2.3 plus 5.6, that's 7.8, 7.9. So definitely red here marks a metal object. But the blue, blue definitely we say it's cavity, but not always. It can also be a field that has been like turned. So here we have 84.8 for the dark blue. If it is a cavity, it has to be 100%. If it's below 100%, it's not cavity, it's just crown, okay? So here, 84.8, it's not cavity, okay? Here we have a metallic object, definitely, but it's not in a cavity, it's just in regular ground. How can we determine the size of the object now? Um, okay, we have three squares, three squares for the length times 30 centimeters, that's 90 centimeters, let's say one meter. Let's imagine the width now, the width is just one square, see, one, two, three. So that's 30 centimeters. One meter by 30 centimeters. The buried object on our field test is basically an old rusty pipe. Okay? Now let's try to imagine uh, what kind of uh, depth we have here. Okay, so let's go 3D. Okay, you can see the depth is here. The first thing you have to do when you do um, when you open your file is tell the software which kind of soil you've been scanning. Here we use like sandy, okay? Remember that the percentage of humidity, the type of ground, if it has rocks or no, will really influence the result you obtain and you get on the software. So sandy is pretty neutral. So let's use these two. Uh, arrows on the left of the software to determine the depth. So the object 
starts around this, which is here, what, two meters, you see 199, and goes to, oops, sorry, to 270. So our metallic uh, pipe is below two meter and two meter point 70 deep, okay? Since it's a pipe, it's round, it's 30, 30 centimeter wide, so it's very good uh, it, and it's accurate. So you have 30 centimeter pipe between two meter and 2.70 meter deep. Very interesting here, you can see that there is a very visible cut. When the red is cut like this, it's metal, but most of the time it's iron. When it's cut like this, it's iron. It means that the signal has been cut. And you have a really high percentage of chance to determine that this is iron. Finally, we'd like to show you this. Let's get back to 2T, you will see here. You see, here we move the cursor and you see the object is here, okay? You see it's still moving here. Our object is here and you can see the value here. Look, 235. Let's, let me show you. If we get back to 2D, okay, let's open this. You see it's here. Our value that's interesting is 235, 235, 235, 234, and it's row number four. One, two, three, four, you see? And it's step number 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Basically, it's here, you see? So it's perfect. You see the value here? 235, 235, 245, that's our metallic object. And you can see the scan value appear and are interpreted directly by a color in the software. So you see, it's very, very neat. You can determine the size and the depth of the object, thanks to our DRS 3D software.